and welcome to Ott and Math. In this edition of Ott and Math, we're going to solve some practice problems involving the equidistance theorems. The first problem, number 21, we're given that A, B, C, D, E is equiangular and equilateral, and that F is the midpoint of A, E, and we want to prove that C, F is the perpendicular bisector of B, D. So what I ask my students to do in these cases is to mark up the diagram first, figure out what the uh, direction is going to be and how they want to solve the problem and then go about doing that in two comb proof. So that's what we're going to do first. So I'm going to mark up the diagram first and I know that it's uh, the diagram or the, uh, the figure A, B, C, D, E, the pentagon is going to be equiangular and equilateral. So I'm going to mark up the diagram. B, C is congruent to C, D is congruent to D, E is congruent to A, E is congruent to B, A. I also know that it's equiangular, so all the angles are going to be congruent. All right, and then finally, uh, angle CBA is going to be congruent as well. Now I want to prove that CF is a perpendicular bisector of BD. Okay, so the first thing I think I want to do is I want to draw a couple auxiliary lines. So the first auxiliary line that I want to draw is going to be from B to F, and the second one is going to be from D to F. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is I want to also identify that AF is congruent, let's make this three tick marks, to FE because F is the midpoint of AE. So now I have two triangles that are congruent. I have uh, triangle B and let's make this a different color pen. I have triangle BAF that is congruent to DEF. And I have that by side, angle, side. Okay, now I can say that <clears throat> uh, BF is congruent to DF. BF is congruent to DF because of CPCTC. So I prove by side, angle, side that BAF is congruent to DEF. And now I know that by CPCTC, BF and FD are also congruent. Okay, now that I have BF and DF congruent to each other and CB and DC congruent to each other, I know that CF is a perpendicular bisector. Because if I have two points that are both equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then they form the perpendicular bisector of that segment. Okay, so let's look at the proof for that. I draw auxiliary line BF and DF, two points determine a line. BA is congruent to DE, that's the definition of an equilateral triangle. Angle A is congruent to angle E, definition of equiangular triangle again. F is the midpoint of AE, that's given. I'm drawing this up here. Angle A and angle E. I have two triangles by side angle side. I know now that BF is congruent to DF, and I know that CB is congruent to CD. So if two points are equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, they form the perpendicular bisector of that segment. Okay, moving on to problem number 22. A four-sided figure with two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides congruent is called a kite. So I have to create the diagram in this case. The two segments joining the opposite vertices are its diagonals, so BD and AC. Prove that one of these diagonals is the perpendicular bisector of the other. Well, I'm given that AB and AD are congruent, BC and DC are congruent. So I say AB is congruent to AD, BC is congruent to DC. Now AC is also congruent to itself, that's a reflexive property. So I have triangle ABC congruent to ADC, so ABC congruent to ADC by side, side, side. Now I can say that uh, angle BCE, BCE is congruent to DCE by CPCTC. Now I'm going to say that BE is congruent to, uh, I'm sorry, now I'm going to say that triangle BCE is congruent to DCE. Uh, BCE is congruent to DCE because I know also that EC is congruent to itself. So I have BCE angle and DCE angle congruent, ECE congruent to itself. 
So now I know BE is congruent to DE. So I'm going to mark that up. BE is congruent to ED. Uh, I also know that BED is a straight angle. It's assumed from the diagram. And I know that BEC uh, is supplementary to DEC. Uh, and I know that triangle BEC is congruent to DEC. So BEC is congruent to DEC now because uh, if two angles are both supplementary and congruent, then they are right angles. Now I can say that AC is perpendicular to BD. And then I can say that AC is a perpendicular bisector. I've proven that um, AC intersects at point E. I've said that BE and ED are congruent. So I know that AC is the bisector. And then I also know that BEC and DEC are right angles. So I know that AC is perpendicular to BD. So once again, AB is congruent to AD. AB is congruent to AD. AC is congruent to itself. Triangle ABC is congruent to ADC by side, side, side. Then I say that angle BCE is congruent to DCE. BCE is congruent to DCE by CPCTC. I say uh, now that triangle BCE, uh, I'm sorry, then I say that EC is congruent to itself. EC is congruent to itself. Now I say that triangle BCE is congruent to DCE by side angle side. And then I'm going to say that BE is congruent to ED by CPCTC. And I'm also going to say that uh, now BED, triangle BED, is congruent to DEC by CPCTC. And I know that if they're congruent and supplementary, they form right angles. So now I know that AC is the perpendicular bisector of BD.